Okay, question number 14 from chapter 5, review exercise on page 109 from the P2 textbook. A uh, question requested by one of my students um, about recurrence relationships. So it's quite a straightforward question. Um, it says a sequence of numbers is defined for n um, greater than or equal to 1 by the recurrence relationship u n plus 1 is equal to k times u n minus 4 where k is a constant. Given that u1 equals 2, find expressions in terms of k for u2 and u3. Okay, so we know that u1 equals 2. So basically what this means is that to get to the ter next term, you need to do, you need to multiply the term before it by k and then subtract 4. That's all it means. Okay, so to get to the next term up, you multiply k with the term before the term you need and take away 4. So if we want to find u2, we need to know what u1 is and we do. So we have k times, okay, u1. I'll, I'll write it like this first, just to make it clear. So u2 will be k times u1 minus 4, which is k times 2 minus 4. So we can say u2 is equal to 2k minus 4. So we've got u2. And we want to find u3 as well. So u3 is equal to u3 will be k times u2, the term before it, minus 4. So you're going to have k times, well, u2 is equal to 2k minus 4, so you'll have 2k minus 4, and then minus 4. So we can say u3 is going to be 2k squared, 2k squared minus 4k and minus 4. And then part b says, given also that u3 equals 26, use algebra to find the possible values of k. So we also know that the value of u3 is equal to 26, so we can find out what k is now, can't we? So we can just simply say 2k for part b, we can say that 2k squared minus 4k plus, um, sorry, minus 4, minus 4 equals 26. We can divide everything by 2. So we get k squared minus 2k minus 2 equals 13. We can subtract 13 from both sides to make it equal 0 because uh, it's a quadratic here. So it's going to be minus 15. And then we can factorize this. So we have k and we're going to have one positive and one negative in the brackets. It's 5 times 2, sorry, 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 and 2, the difference is 2. So it's going to be k minus 5 and k plus 3. Therefore, k is either minus 3 or k is 5. There's no restriction for k is there. Let's check. It doesn't say anything about k has to be greater than anything or whatever. And it also says find the possible values of k. So obviously, it seems like there's more than one answer. So there we are. Simple as that.